This morning we're at West Dennis Beach in Dennis, Massachusetts for a gray seal release. This is a gray seal, a juvenile gray seal that was found entangled in a life-threatening entanglement at uh, Nossa Beach in Orleans back in May, uh, on May 22nd. Uh, the seal was uh, responded to by IFAL staff and volunteers. We were able to capture the seal. And in the process of assessing the animal's health condition and its injuries, we determined that the animal was not going to be healthy enough to be able to release after we disentangled it. For the past three months, the animal has uh, been going through rehabilitation and its final blood tests were received a couple days ago, so the animal has been cleared for release. And one of the other interesting things that we'll be doing today is the seal on release. Before we release it, we'll actually put a satellite tag on it. And this isn't just any satellite tag like we put on dolphins, this is a special type of technology. Uh, this satellite tag actually has a time depth recorder on it, so it will record not only how often the seal dives, but to what depths it, it dives. And the really interesting thing about this tag is it actually will transmit that information to us through cell phone towers. So when the seal comes up on land to haul out and rest, that's when the tag will be activated and the tag will send all of that information. Now the tag is actually epoxied to the animal's hair, so it's not a permanent tag. This is a tag that once the animal molts, and seals will molt annually, once it replaces that hair, this tag will simply fall off the animal's back. But what we're hoping is, is that in the meantime, before it does fall off, we'll get some amazing information. Not only where this animal is going, but also where is it diving? And how long is it diving for? That'll give us and fisheries biologists great information on what potential prey sources are for this seal and how it's utilizing its habitat. Back. 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 Back.